Okay, so welcome everyone to my very first building and modeling tutorial. So I'm still not sure what I should name this, but yeah. So today I'll just be going over the basics of Roblox Studio. And later on in the future, I'll be going over how to modify parts, how to import stuff in with Blender, how to actually use Blender, and all that good stuff. But today we're just going to be focusing on the very basics. So up first, I just want to tweak the settings a little bit. So just press model and then set your rotate and move to five degrees and zero studs so that just makes um it just makes it more accurate when you're actually using a part now let's just go ahead and insert a part so at the very top just press the part and here we have it a part now you know how to build kind of not really so you can just press scale scale it out and as you can see, it's a lot more accurate. And these little stud meters just tell you how big the part will actually be, how much studs it is. So you could scale it down, scale it up, and then you can move it up or down. So that's pretty much the basics. Uh, to go back to undo a step, hit Command Z or Control Z, depending on if you're in Mac or PC. And then rotate it, very simple like that. Um, again, these little stud meters show you how much it's rotated and it makes it more accurate than because we because we uh, tweak the settings. So if you want to add another part or if you want to du duplicate the same part, just hit command D or control D. Again, depends on what you're on. Okay, that's kind of just like the basics of actually using parts. Um, there's a lot more stuff that you can do. For example, I could hit command D and then I could scale this part in without moving it just down like that kind of and then use this bottom one just drag it down without having to make a whole separate part and then it's just gonna be a lot more even so yeah there's like a lot of stuff that you can do and it's actually not even too hard so just some more of the basics now say that you have two roblox studio pages or you have a model in one page and you have this as your, like your main studio so what you can do is just hit file open from roblox or i'm pretty sure it's open from Roblox or open from file either way um let it just load over here so say i had something in a testing experience so load it in so say i just wanted to grab this all you have to do at the top left, hit copy, and then I'm just going to switch over back to the same tab. Okay, now that I'm back here, as you can see, it still says paste. So I can just hit paste and boom, that imported from there. And what else did I want to show you guys? Okay, so you could actually move the base plate like so the base plate right now you can't like touch it because it's locked there's something called the lock tool so at the middle over here at the top just press this lock button and then press this one time to the point where the lock is unlocked now you can grab this and whenever you spawn in the base plate's gonna fall automatically there's also a script that you can make like that oh Never mind, never mind, never mind. Um, that's that's anchored, my bad. So it won't fall, but um, you can actually over here at the right, under Explorer, under Base Plate, you can unanchor it. Under Base Plate, if you just scroll down, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Stuff here. So for example, there's reflectance and all that. I'll get into that in the next video. There's also um colors. So I'll get into colors in a second. But you can transform it. So right here, you can see how big the base plate actually is, the size of it. Oh, let's actually move this like that a little bit. There's a whole bunch of other stuff. I'll get into some of this stuff later. But basically, can collide and can touch. Um, that's not important right now. We're looking for anchored. So anchored is right over here. Just unmark anchored. And now whenever you spawn in the base plate or whatever you set as to unanchored will automatically fall down. And 
you can get rid of this spawn area over here let's just go ahead and lock the base plate again and anchor it now that the base plate's anchored and now i got rid of the spawn so where would you actually spawn i'm pretty sure it just chooses like a random area for you to spawn but you can actually there's a way to actually set the spawn equal to something so you could just go into the toolbox and look for like the most trusted spawn which i don't ever recommend using toolbox because everything here is free and sometimes you can get viruses but under essential it says neutral spawn which is made by roblox that's how you know that there's not going to be a virus and as you can see it actually has its own um spawn location area and there might be a script to it so i'm just gonna go ahead and delete it and i'm gonna try to make my own so i'm just gonna have a part fail it just randomly it doesn't really matter how it doesn't really matter how much you scale it to and i want to set it equal to spawn plant so you can just go ahead and add him add something to it so i'll get into this stuff in the next video but you can add scripts decals textures i'll get into textures how to make um a light so surface gui all that a uh, gui is not really building so we're not going to get into gui too much but if you just hit the plus button right next to the part the selected part you can press um spawn point you can search up spawn point and then that will actually automatically add your own kind of spawn point but you can just tweak it as much as you want and then i'm not sure how actually because there's a script that i've done and that was the way that i got my thing that was the way that i set a spawn point but i'm pretty sure if you just hit spawn point then it's automatically the part automatically kind of um goes with the spawn so if i remove the part then the spawn should remove yeah so just add a part and then add a spawn point to it and that's kind of how you add a spawn point so now let's get into the colors so if you want to say you have a part and you want to change the color of it it's very very simple so it used to be up here material manager and color but now they just oh they kind of changed a little bit but here's a whole bunch of colors say i wanted to make it black boom it's now like this um oh yeah in the next video or in next next video i'll get into plugins as well so i was about to move the sun completely to change the lighting but then i realized that i'll save that for the next video or the next next video okay so again colors just go over here change the colors and you can actually change the material as well. So just press the material button and there's a whole bunch of materials. So you can make concrete, fabric, uh, ground, whatever. I'll just go with like a metal kind of thing. Just, um, you can't actually press it like that. You have to press the little button right next to it, which applies it to the actual thing. So say I wanted to make it salt. I just hit apply to selected parts and boom. And I can actually select this. So. If I wanted to select a lot of them, um, I just hit shift and then select with the mouse button. I should select all of them. Also, I can group and ungroup. So I can hit command or control G, which groups them together. And then I can hit to ungroup them. It's just um, command or control U to ungroup. But there's also terrain editing. So you can just press this editor right here. And I don't really like to use this because I'm like not a terrain editor. I make my own models, but you can just hit edit, add and this layout is kind of right here the screen might be a little bit small right now because i have that main material manager so let's just fix that okay so now that you have like this right here we can just hit like that just hold it and it automatically generates terrain for you um that's gonna end off the basics or youtube studio basics oh one quick thing um there's a way to hit team test so if you and your buddy are working you can add him to the game and then you can both press team test you guys are both able to te uh, test the game actually one more thing that i want to show you guys so let me just grab one part 
I'll put it over here and I'll kind of want to make a border for like this whole area. So say that you're making a game and you don't want anybody to um to escape from your little map. So I'll just take this and then I'll grab the green thing. And so do you see how there's like a shadow? Basically, to remove the shadow, um press the part and then under properties make sure that you have properties open if you don't have properties then uh hit view and make sure the properties and explorer are selected so then you just go under here and you just scroll down so there should be a oh okay so cast shadow just select cast shadow and that will remove the shadow, so you can't like yeah, it just pretty much removes the shadow. That's gonna end off. This, that's gonna end off this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.